Okay guys, hey Dell 304 here, and I finally charged my camera battery so I can make more videos. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to get back to computer videos, but at the moment I don't really have any updates on any of my computers at all. But, uh, yeah. So that's why I haven't made any videos about my Dells lately. But anyway, um, going off that topic, this is going to be a review of my new tripod. This is going to be the Targus 66 inch, uh, let's see, what's the model number? TG-6660TR. Now I had a 50 inch, uh, I believe it was the TG-50TR, and it was, a, it was an okay tripod, it was fine for a basic use, uh, but this one is much better. Um, a, a few days ago, or maybe a week ago, I forget, um, my tripod, hi hey Lucas, my tripod uh, broke. Uh, one of the legs right up here uh, where the leg connects to the plastic it's not the same design as this by the way but it broke it like completely like cracked and it like snapped off and that I couldn't use it anymore so I had to buy a new one because I need a tripod to make videos so without further ado here's my new one so we're gonna go ahead and take a tour I guess I'll show you the box real quick I just got this today by the way but I you know I can do a, a tripod review because you know I can so yeah, it's got it extends to five and a half feet, folds to twenty seven inches. It's got three way pan head, quick release plate. I'll show you all this stuff. It's got a seven pound capacity, which is really good because uh, you know some people have heavy heavy cameras. So yeah, but anyway, my other one didn't have anywhere near that. I think it was like two or three pounds. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a tour. So the legs extend like this, um, of course, like a regular tripod. Uh, my old one, they only extended out to about here, everywhere, so it was a much smaller tripod. And then there's this little thing right here, which you can adjust. You loosen it, and then you can move it around, and then you tighten it up so it doesn't uh, move. If I just tighten it up a little bit, and that, that's fine. Uh, there's also this little rubber thing down here, which you can adjust. You can have it, like, you know, anywhere on the thing. So if you want it to be, like, uh, you know, narrower, so you can fit it somewhere, that would be, I guess, would be all right. Um, it's got this little hook on the bottom, I guess. I don't know what it's for. I guess it's like for like a camera case or something. Um, but uh, that's kind of nice to have, I guess. Uh, so yeah, like I showed you before, there's the um, uh, model number and shiz. Uh, we have a little handle here. I guess this is for carrying, but I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's like for panning or anything like that. I think it's just when you fold it up, you can carry it like that. Um, it did come with a bag really quick. Um, it did come with a, a bag right here, which is nice. Um, it's not the most high quality bag in the world, but then again, it's not bad either. It's it's pretty good. Uh, and for free, you know, what else could you want? So it just zips up like that, and it fits very snug in the bag, and you can adjust the um, arm here. And it's very cool that they included that for free. So, um, yeah. It's got two levels on it. One is right here. Uh, that one's for, um, I guess it, well, this one is so you're, uh, you can make sure it's level. Um, of course, that's what a level is. But when the circle's in the middle, it means you're, you're perfectly flat and good. So, for example, if I move it a little over, it'll move, uh, you know, over. It'll be like, nope, that's not where you're supposed to have it. It's got another one up here on the, uh, the tilt thing right here. Of course, it's not... Uh, completely. There we go. There we go. Uh, but anyway, here is the knob for. I forget what this knob's for. But I think it's for the uh, pan and tilt. Well, actually, no, this screws in. So I'll. Oh, yeah, this knob is for. So you can't move it. It's to lock it in place. Which is, I guess, cool. The other one had that too. This is a tension knob right here. Uh, so you can lock this into place. And then what's really cool, I have to switch hands here. Apologize. Uh, it's got this little crank right here, and you can crank your um, camera up and down. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can make it go up and down. It's hard to do it with one hand. But, um, that's not what she said, but you can crank it up and down. Uh, it's hard to do with one hand, uh, so if you have two hands, then it'll be more fluid. But it's pretty fluid. I mean, this isn't a, you know, a, you know, one of those tripods where it's, you know, super freaking you know, smooth and everything, but for most people, including me, this would be a great tripod. Um, so yeah, and then we have the, uh, of course, you know, this is to swivel it from side to side or this way too, so that's kind of cool. And uh, this is the pan head right here, 
Uh, really quick, we have a quick release latch, and then this little plate comes up, and you put this on the bottom of your camera. And uh, yeah, you just lock it back in place like that. Wait a minute. And then you just lock it, and boom, lock it back in place. Uh, this is for the tilt, so you can unscrew this little knob here, and it'll move freely. So it'll move up and down. It'll go from 90 degrees, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but yeah, I mostly have it like right around there. So that's cool. Uh, that's a nice feature. And then in the front, we just have the uh, Targus logo right here. And then, yeah, that's about it. Now, like I said before, this tripod's pretty nice. Um, it was like, I think it's like, I got mine for $38, which is kind of expensive, but you can get it for as cheap as like 20 but, uh, yeah, I had to pay the high price because that's, that's how it is where I live. Um, things are expensive. Anyway, the legs, this is not fully extended, by the way. Uh, I don't want to fully extend it, but it extends up to 66 inches, which is like... Okay, so let's see. This is me sitting down, so it'd probably be up to here, about as tall as I am. So, yeah, it would be really, really tall. I don't really need it that tall, though. But if you want to go shoot some nice scenery or whatever, I guess it's uh, useful. And then over here, it's got rubber feet that uh, swivel around, so that's cool. Doesn't matter if it's on an uneven surface, your tripod will always be steady. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's a very good tripod. I went through through the things, and uh, yeah. So I would I would recommend this. Uh, you know, I would recommend this for basic people, for people that want you know. Uh, super premium, you know, whatever, expensive tripod that that, do, that moves really slowly so you can get, you know, that. I wouldn't recommend it for those people, but... The build quality, for being plastic, is pretty good. The plastic is, like, the plastic is pretty thick. And, uh, yeah, it's just pretty good. It's pretty good build quality, so... Yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about it. Um, yeah, I'm going to be use this, using this for a while. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.